we're gonna get to talk about the bones of the foot and ankle. I don't think I need to explain that the foot is pretty daunting and there's lots of terms that most people have never heard when they come in and see me. Let's take a look at the anatomy of the foot and the ankle. When I think of the foot and the ankle, I like to break it down into some segments. The obvious would be the ankle joint, which would be comprised of this bone, this bone, and this bone, but they have names. The shin bone is the tibia, the chicken bone on the outside is called the fibula, and this other bone here, the ankle bone, is actually called the talus. From there, the structures under the ankle we call the foot. And the foot is made up of the hind foot, the midfoot, and the forefoot. The hind foot is made up of the heel bone or the calcaneus. The ankle bone again is the talus. And then where it gets really complex is the middle of the foot. Here, these are much like the bones in our wrist, except that they are shaped in a different structure to best work for the foot. We have the navicular bone. We have the cuneiforms, one, two, and three, or medial, middle, and lateral. And then on the outside, we have a square or dice-shaped bone called the cuboid. All of these make up the midfoot. The forefoot is then made up of the other bones here. The long bones are called the metatarsals, and the hand, we call them the metacarpals. So when we say metatarsal, we're talking about the foot. And then these little bones, they're called the phalanges. And we like to break them down into, we could say proximal or distal, or we could say P1, P2, and P3. So if you see some of these terms and in instructions or notes, that's what we're referring to.